what is going on guys bcd here and today i just wanted to bring you a quick video in regards to basically picture quality and my settings i usually use when playing games or just basically trying to get the deepest blacks on this television um so yeah so basically starting off i'm going to start with um sports picture mode and then i'm going to go into standard then i'm just going to compare it to with uh a small picture of image quality at the end um, starting off is going to just go through basically the settings here I'm going to start with just brightness determining whether or not that's the best or which one is the best for that seeing which one basically keeps um, a dark level but also keeps the colors and the details that's the same because I really do not like the um, the backlights on this television set so i'll try to keep it as dark as possible and then um, go up when needed to add details so i'm always adjusting depending on the game i'm playing and depending on the black levels in that game so starting off um, brightness really doesn't matter i always keep that at a low 25 um, and then i go into my uh, color section and then that's where you get to muddle out the the flavor of a basically the colors as here you can see she's getting a lot tanner so that's not you don't want to go that high you want to keep at a um very mid 50 60 level depending on that i wouldn't go too far under or too far over that level so around that area is great for this television just because you want to keep that contrast um them no colors really popping uh light sensor i always keep off because it really just um, nullifies all my settings really I feel like it's always doing something strange where it makes me uh, have to go tinker with something so I just keep it off just to make it just to keep, stay safe contrast it was at a blasting max I don't know sure why so I went down and went ahead and cut that down to 50 so that the um, backlighting and the bloom in the corners would have less of a full effect when playing games when watching tv and stuff like that so i want to keep that to a very minimum i feel like that's the, probably one of the biggest mistakes people do they probably had a high contrast which basically makes the whites levels higher which makes that backlighting a little bit stronger which brings that bloom effect and that uh bleeding into effect more gamma I always keep at negative one um I'm not sure I just like negative one it is basically user preference really black levels I have never adjusted this before I was just tinkering with it see where I wanted it um, I prefer mid 30s 40s 50s um, well 40s and 50s to be exact because that's where I feel like it's had a good um, black to color contrast um, I did not know about the black adjustments. This seems to be a little bit um, a strong. So I put it on high for now just to see how it just as I play games. Because I don't like going through and changing the settings all the time. So if anything, it could be automatic. I prefer it, but it just depends on how good it's on the adjust. Um, event, that the contrast enhancer, I really didn't have much experience with. I was just playing around with that as well. Um colors i didn't really affect much i didn't want to go through and change any other hues or anything like that so i just left that alone clarity and sharpness sharpness was uh, another one that was really i really wanted to make sure that that was um that looked right and worked properly sharpness um i, I i'm not sure I, I believe i kept that at a high 70. i think i wanted to make sure that everything seemed to have a um outline everything was um had a little depth to it so sharpness i did keep high I, I was just playing around with the hue i did not change anything everything went back to normal i wouldn't change this type of stuff i mean you can you can test it out and see how it looks but that's not something i did i was just messing around with the color temperatures and things like that live color is another thing that um i thought was pretty interesting so I did want to turn that on as well because I felt like it was doing a good job of actually changing the contrast and the change in the colors. So I, it, it did seem to give me an effect where 
all her details still showed out like the blue in her arm and the pale of her skin still showed correctly so i felt like that one was something i wanted to test as well so i put that on you don't have to but that's something i did because i wanted to see how good it worked going forward reality creation is um supposed to refine the image and make it look more lifelike i just left it on because i wanted to test that as well i was doing a lot of testing on this one but um, you don't have to keep none of these settings on. I was just testing stuff. Okay, so while in sports, I leave motion flow off just because I don't like that it um, sends in frames. I don't like that it's, it kind of gives this um, opera effect or whatever. So I just leave that off. It doesn't give it in games, of course, but it does in uh, shows and stuff like that. Uh, Cinemotion, I, I'm not sure exactly how this... Um, works it posed to basically keep everything in a um in an intact form but i've never seen it really effectively work now when you see me go into the gamma and you don't see anything you can barely see the um symbol that's because of all the blacks that i changed and how i effectively made it dark um I'm not sure if that's a good idea or a bad idea. I like it because I don't like the blooming. Of course, I don't like the black lights being on at all, really. I want an OLED so bad, but um, this, is, this is how I basically get that effect of dark blacks without trying to lose much color. Now, I know this is a lot of black and i know people don't really like that type of adjustments like that i know it's really dark so um, i also use um, in cases like this where the game is a little bit darker than normal i will go to standard and standard is another one that i like to use because it has pretty great um startup it got pretty good default settings and then i go in and i adjust it a little bit and tinker with that so with this one, I cut the brightness back down to 25, of course. I think I left it at 30 this time around. Color, um, I think I don't adjust that. I think that I leave that at 60. Um, light sensor, I leave off, of course. Going through advanced settings, I contrast. So I cut contrast to about 68. Gammas, I took down to a negative one, of course. Black levels, I didn't really touch. I just was looking for... When I was look, doing my standard settings and I wanted to make sure, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't as black as the sports and make sure it kept some, most of the detail and um, had a small black light effect. So um, this one has, is definitely more brighter than my sports settings, but I play back in between the four, in between the two because I like to, Make sure I'm adjusting it to the proper settings for the game I'm playing. Center motion and smooth and motion flow I leave on in these settings because I'm usually watching um, TV or um, something like that. But I do turn this on as well when I'm playing games like this where it's just nothing but you walking around doing nothing really. You're not really fight. It's not a fighting game or nothing like that. So I leave that stuff on sometimes. And this right here is just basically a uh, comparison of the two in my final pictures um as you can see the standard is lighter than the um sports settings but these are the two basically that i adjust from i, see, I had a lot of comments and wondering what my settings were so these are basically my settings what i use on the daily and then i always i'm always adjusting and tweaking so yeah but if you like this commentary don't forget to like and subscribe let me know what, th what you think in the comment section below i do want to I guess some feedback on whether or not I'm messing up something or I'm blowing out any details. Just let me know what you guys usually put in your settings and I accept all feedback. So I want to thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.